Carol Springer. So most of you have more than likely watched my other videos on how to set up a CentOS server, uh, how to compile attack scripts, scan scripts, how to run the attack scripts, how to scan your amp list. Now you want to upgrade to API and be able to hit from a web browser if you're going to make a stressor site, a uh, GUI booter, whatever the fuck you may want to do. Setting up API on your box is fairly simple. You need to install some libs first of all. Uh, it's not very hard. I'm going to put all these commands in the description uh, as well as a link to the API that I'm using uh, on Pastebin. Uh, first thing you want to do is go through and install some packages. It'll take but a minute or two. They're required to get your API working properly. This shit done, and then you want to simply type this in. And now, you're going to get something that says auto detect, like, kind of like this. When this pops up, all you really want to do is hit enter, and it should take care of everything for you, like so. This is done, all you need to do is tell PHP to load your extensions when it boots. So, I'll come over here and run this command. And now you want to start restart your HTTP. To set up your API, you want to put your API in www.html. As you can see, there's nothing here at the moment. I'm going to post this API on Pastebin and link it in the description. Uh, it's a public API. It's not the one that I use. I'm not handing out mine because it's personal. Um, I have used this one before, I've tested it, we're going to test it in the video, it works fine. Um, I have modified it a little bit to add more attack scripts to it than what was originally put in there. Um, it's very easy to add your own attack scripts in here and modify them whatever you want to do. It's pretty self-explanatory how to modify the methods, this is the area where you would do so. If you can't figure out how to add, remove, or change methods in here, probably don't need to be fucking with this right now. So I'm not going to cover how to do that because it's very fucking simple and self-explanatory. Now, the first thing that you want to do is pick an API key. You can make your API key anything you want. Um, we're just going to use this one as an example. So pick an API key and throw it in here. Then you want to take your server IP server IP right here. Now your root password needs to go here. Obviously, this is not going to be my root password, so don't try it, because it's going to be changed the second this video has been completed before you even post it. Now you're pretty much done as far as setting it up goes, um, unless you want to edit the methods and whatnot. So what you want to do is put this on your server. A lot of people use API.php. I would not recommend that. It's the most common used. It's easy to find. Come up with something unique um, for tutorial purposes. We're just going to use testapi.php. And then paste your script in here or upload it to your server with FileZilla or whatever your client you prefer is. However you want to put it on your server. And then once you get all this on here, you want to close it, save it. Now, 
Your API should be on your box and ready to use. Uh, this is the link to your API. This is how it's going to work. Your server IP here, the link to your PHP goes here, whatever you named it. Your API key would go here. So if you were to hit this IP address for 100 seconds, so port 80 with SSDP, you put the IP you're going to hit here, the duration you're going to hit it for, the port you're going to hit on, the method you're going to hit with here, and your API key here, and that will result in... As you can see, I don't have any attacks running on the box right now. Come over to your browser, post that in there, and your Metal White page, come back over here, and you see the SSDP attack is running on that IP on port 80 for 100 seconds, like we posted in there. It's as simple as that, your API is up and running with no problems. You can link it on your stressor site, GUI booter, whatever you want to do with it, you can use it however you prefer, um, it's completely up to you. That's all there is to setting API up in your box. I mean, you can set up a more advanced API. I might make another video later with more advanced APIs, but for now, this is a basic API. It's how you set it up, it's how you use it. Uh, if you don't know what to do with it, this video is not for you. Um, if you have any questions, post in the description. I'll answer them the best I can. Uh, if you have any other requests, post them as well, and I'll try and get to them as quickly as I can.